Ladies and gentlemen, keep us moving right along. Please put your hands together for Thomas D'Alessandro! How's everyone doing tonight? Are you doing good? And I am doing awesome. A little under a month ago, I turned 18. Thank you. Thank you. People, people think I look a lot older, and I think it's because I'm so hairy. No, 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 trust me, my belly button looks like Chewbacca's asshole. It's really bad. No, but like, so I'm finally legal, you guys. It's great, but there's, there's still some things I don't get, like glow-in-the-dark condoms. Why? It's, it's going to be hidden. You're not going to be looking at it, are you? You know, I mean, unless you're sitting there just hiding it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> And I, you know, it's, and I, I can see that, you know, I almost got some. I thought of how cool it would be to have a lightsaber as a penis. It's, you know, an idea for my own time, right? And so apparently I'm an adult now. I miss being little. I really do. I was, I was a really chubby kid, though. You know, really overweight. And it's not bad being fat, despite what people might think. Like, you are never bored when you're fat. You always got something to play with there. You know what I'm talking about? And I, I grew up as an only child, but it never felt like it. Let me try and show you guys what this was like. You know how you can lean over and make that face with your stomach? Oh God, that was like a little brother to me. <laughs> we had such good times. We'd watch, we'd watch Pokemon. Does anyone remember that show? Who remembers Pokemon? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, it's the most irresponsible show on TV. These little kids, they drop out of school and they leave home and they go have these little creatures fight to the death for their amusement. It, you know Michael Vick watched this show. You know, he saw this and he goes, that's what I want to do with my life. You know, but he couldn't find a Pikachu, so he just got a pit bull. Yeah. No, but I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I wasn't a sexy kid. You know, I'm glad I had the chuck. Because these, these parents, they get good looking kids and feel the need to put them in child beauty pageants, and that's really creepy. Can we agree on that? Yeah, thank you. It's a bunch of 40-year-old guys trying to decide who the hottest three-year-old is, right? And next up, we have little Susie, voted to have the most innocent face. Come on out here, honey. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's creepy, man. Right? These girls are so stupid. There's, there's so many stupid people these days, guys. I mean, they try and make up for it by drinking smart water and driving smart cars, and they're still stupid people. They, by the way, who thinks smart cars look like baby shoes? Yeah, I know, right? Every time I see one, I'm going, that would look awesome on the Jolly Green Giant's toddler. You know, you know what's sad about this, guys? There's one person in here going, hey, kid, my wife drives a smart car. She really likes it. Yeah. You ready to clown? Would you love to see a smart car pull over and all of a sudden like 16 clowns come running out of it? Start building like balloon animals next to the car? That'd be great. No, but these... Back to what I was saying, these people are so stupid. People need to be warned against things that should be obvious. You know, like this is, this is actually a warning label on a chainsaw. It says, warning, do not stop blades with hands. Like, the worst part about this is you know somebody did it. And then they sued the company because they got hurt. Here's another one on a, uh, a package for a baby stroller. It says, warning, remove child before folding. Like, some she just folded up her kid and threw it in the trunk, you know? She's going, oh, look, it's a carrying case, too. <laughs> They're so stupid. Oh, my God. But, I mean, anyone can look like an idiot when you're texting. You know what I'm talking about? One little mistype, and you look like a retard, right? Like... <laughs> One time my friend texted me and they asked me to do something. What I meant to say was, I'm a little busy. That came out as I'm a little busty. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but I don't really want to be texting that to people, you know? Man, and parents, parents are getting into the texting now. That's so embarrassing, getting a text from your mom. Like, my mom thinks LOL means lots of love. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> now, spe speaking of texting, who's, who's got an iPhone here? You, you have an iPhone? You like it? You're proud of it? That's what I like to call an iDouche, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, really, how many times have you seen this? You know what I mean, man? You got the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me check it out on my BAM! iPhone! Ha ha! You know what I'm talking about? And these people, they're so happy to be iDouches, too. You know, 
be a fantastic commercial. That would sell millions. Just some dude standing there, you know. Hey there. I like my new iPhone 3G. Before, I was just an average person. But now, I'm so better. Now I'm an eye douche. So if you want that jealous look from all your friends and a whole new lifestyle, you can become an eye douche too. So pick up your iPhone 3G and change your life today. I douche. Do you douche? Thank you very much, guys.